the thing is that in this world you try so hard to escape and sometimes we call it the great escape from how cruel and stressful the reality can be but it's it's really not about that it's about you enjoying the moment a precious moment such as this one right now because this particular moment for instance will will literally pass and never come back so you enjoy it with someone you care about such as my fans personally i do care about every single one of them sincerely starting from milos to seth to daniel to to Lumbar, to all of them to katori and so on so those are amazing guys and you do what you do best you do what you enjoy most and uh, you just hope for the best and hopefully you will get on one particular path that will lead you to that that success that fame that basically leads to the success that you're hoping for um, because at the end of the day what you want from it is your happiness other people's happiness success for you and for themselves because when you become successful you're gonna you're gonna want to give back to the community and I just can't wait sometimes I fantasize about the moment that I become really successful so I can really enjoy giving back to to the community and I tell you why now perhaps dare to say vow that every one of the first 1,000 subscribers once I hit that success line will literally get something from me what is it I don't know when and how I still don't know because I'm not there yet but this is something that I'm doing it for myself whether whether you like it or not and, and my biggest thank you is is basically for you to to be happy with what I do and uh, to support what I do by hitting that subscribe button or by liking that video or sharing it or doing all these three things combined uh, they're all welcome so with that being said, on that happy note, allow me to welcome you all back to my sixth gameplay stream of the Assassin's Creed Origins 2018 Deluxe Edition in the ultra settings and the sweet smoothness of 60 frames per second in ultra sharp settings. This is Teddy 5K, I'm back with another stream and I couldn't be happier. We are continuing the Assassin's Creed by X promise. I need to find and interact with the stone circles in Egypt. Beautiful country. Take it from a person who's been there, who's been inside the pyramid. Trust me, gorgeous country. This is pretty much the closest I have ever seen to the reality. Honest to God. Dare I say, and I really mean it, this what I'm looking at right now maybe this is gonna sound a tiny bit sad but this is right now actually cleaner and better than I would say three quarters of current Egyptian street status right now but this is a whole different project so I see that my friend started um, started doing uh, blacksmith craft and stuff uh, and I want to upgrade my sword to to level 14 actually currently it is level 14 no I can't sell this I actually want to buy but how can I actually upgrade not buy first of all upgrade yes that's the one obviously yes uh, is this the one that I have equipped or not this is Mustafa's blade this is Harper this is Fang is this the one equipped? I think so. 137 Legendary Sickle Sword. The Fang. Alright, let me just make sure that this is the one that I have equipped right now. It must be called The Fang. It's not. The one that I have is called Battle of Gibbon Blade. Sickle Sword. Wicked Sick! So, I'm sorry, I'm just cutting Counter-Strike really often. Um, I'm in the sell page possibly I can sell um, what is this this is level 14 equipped this is level 13 possibly I can sell this very well my friend all right there you go yes I am your friend man what's wrong with that ah uh, this is a rare specter possibly I'll keep it see what happens this is a legendary knife as well 
Alright. So let me just um, let me just take Get a look my at my gear real quick. So what I'm using right now currently is this. It's called Battle of Gibbon Blade. It's level 14, right? What I can do is upgrade this rare sickle sword, rare sickle sword, or basically upgrade the one that I have now. The rare sickle sword gives me a damage of 125 damage per second. So I'm gonna go to the blacksmith again and possibly upgrade the, where is it? Mustafa's blade, Harper of Perseus, the fan. For some reason, I cannot upgrade my current blade because possibly it is already at level 14. I can upgrade my shield to level 14. That will take 2,250 um, pounds, right? Because it's Egypt and they are using pounds. But why can't say my Gibbon whatever? Alright, 750. Alright, let me upgrade my shield because I'm using it right now. Here we go. Nice, look at that. Now right now my shield is level 14. And I still have a thousand left, that means... I can basically go to this fantastic career sickle sword and also upgrade it to level 14. Fabulous. Fabulous right now. Fascinating. Right. Now let me go to uh, sell, see what I can sell. I'm gonna keep this obviously, it's already level 14. Level 14, level 12, level 3. I can possibly sell this one, but it's a rare. So I'm not sure if I should. I have this one equipped. I can sell this one, yes. I definitely can, even though it's a rare shield. But I, I'm just going to sell it for now. I will take that off your hands. Yes, take it off my hands. Thank you very much. Let me just um, see what you got right now. This is pretty epic, weapon-wise. But I don't need it right now. Let me just see if I can refill my arrows. It's just for eight crowns or eight pounds. Tools are full. I think I'm good to go right now. I see the time is already evening and I should be on my way. Alright. I can see the blue dot and it's showing me that it is about 10 meters. Oh, that's the kid. Right, so let me take a look at map real quick. What I need to do, what I need to do, is discover new locations. This is fast travel. Apparently, I fast travel to to. I'm still in Siwa. Possibly, I'm back to where I started. Let me call Sandra real quick. What is this? Again, I fast traveled somewhere. Well, it's the same location. I'm still in Siwa. Right. Right. What is this? That's a lot treasure. Right. I still haven't killed animal. I, I have done that already. I don't know what this place is. I killed the animal here. I don't know what this place is. Trial of Anibus. Happening now. Possibly an arrow. God knows what. What is this? That's a picture. Is it? I don't know. Find and kill the Perpertilus. Let's go there. See what's going on. It's only 600 meters away from here. That's a good chance to call Rooch. And we are on the way. Here we go. Good thing is, um, in The Witcher 3, you could always tell what time is it in The Witcher world. Right here you can just tell by how early evening, dawn or sunset or whatever, or dusk really, um, kind of is. 
weather wise. Mm. Oh wow, my horse can jump, that's nice. Well of course, what horse wouldn't be able to jump? Chancellor! Chancellor! In a tomb. It's not okay! Mm. Oh no. What was that? I don't know where it even came from. My bad! So here we go. We've arrived to the place. I'm gonna let Roots rest right now because I'm gonna have to do this climbing kinda like on my own. What is this? Is this new? Now I can't get in here. Right, let me put this off real quick. It's fascinating how he can climb and still hold a torch. I mean, isn't that legendary on its own? Seriously, guys. Alright, 112 meters to go. Possibly it will be somewhere up there. Here we go. 100 meters to go. What a best climb I've ever seen. You might be surprised, but those mountains really exist exactly as they are. And as they appear to be almost right here in the game in Egypt. In a place called al -Mukattam. Take it from a guy who was there. Boom! Beautiful place. What is this? No! Oh. Generate, please. Beautiful healer. I mean, when you really think about it, Bayek, this is the guy right now. He is the first Super Saiyan and also he's the first Wolverine healer because that guy can heal as fast as the Wolverine almost. For real. What is this? What is this? Avenge G Moss. Find and kill the bastard. Suggest level two. Reach the area. Let me do this real quick. Alright, it's a hundred meters, good thing I chose it. Just right next to me. I need to level up to level 17 or 18 so I can really go back to the hardcore mission. So, what I'm doing right now is a side quest called Avenge Gmos 11, right? And I just need to find and kill the target. I'm pretty sure that's the target. Lock and load. Is it? You bastard! That's the target, I was right. Confirm kill. Done. And what a sweet 250 experience points that you can add so you can level up more. So what you do is pretty much you go to a second level, uh, which is about uh, a kilometer away from here. You take those 600 uh, points. Oh, I see three target points right there. Um, they're almost at the same range, but there are tiny bit differences distance wise. Welcome to the channel. This is 35k if you're joining and this is a gaming channel that has been recently established for the purpose of gaming and having fun and open talk discussion about any topic that you would like to talk about. All you have to do is let me know in the comment section below and write Teddy what I would like to discuss or what I would like to know is this and then I'll be more than happy to talk about this topic with you. Now if you're enjoying what you're seeing then you gotta leave that, uh, you gotta hit that subscribe button and uh, that would really appreciate it appreciate it like heavily since uh, that really helped me a lot uh, perhaps if you would like you can uh, hit a thumbs up and, and like the video share it with your friends tell them about it uh, because you know what they say the more the merrier um, more people have the more fun we've got and uh, isn't that just brilliant so we are approaching the end of the weekend and perhaps this is something that doesn't necessarily have to be sad, but something that can be joyful, something can be enjoyable. Uh, we are live right now, streaming at sweet hot smoothness of 60 frames per second. So it's one frame per second. You're seeing things as I'm seeing them right now, which is fascinating. I am playing in ultra setting 4K right now. And um, all I can say is maybe like, Roll and turn the lights down low. Alright, so Teddy stop singing. Here we go. So we are approaching those three different targets right now. Um, I've been thinking about this all day long. Stop singing, Teddy. 
just to make you understand. Maybe lock the door. Oh, I can't do this. So we're really approaching the building right now. Um, dare I say buildings, Paul? About 400 meters. There are three targets for some reason. I'm curious about how this will look like when I approach it because there are three different ones roughly close to each other. Let me use my spidey scenes or as I call them my witcher scenes uh, since I am a massive massive witcher 3 the wild hunt fan. One of the best games ever made perhaps the best game ever made right next to uh, and not right after right next to uh, the Assassin's Creed Origins because let me tell you something when the graphics uh, is that great and the fighting skills, the fighting experience when you fight and kill is also that great and intense. And the videos, the movie, the move, the moving pictures or, or the videos that you are actually seeing in the stories are that spectacular, then you've hit what I call them the three pillars that make any video game in the world spectacular. You need to have great story, great graphics, great fighting experience. You hit all three of them, then you and I can talk. Apparently this place is in the water, so what I'm gonna do is just borrow this boat right now. What a convenient thing that whenever I be almost whenever I need a boat, uh, there's one there. I mean, it's almost like Lord of the Rings in Middle Earth. Whenever they really need them, the eagles come and save the day. So, and that's it. Now, what I what I'm observing right now is the fact that the golden objective objectives have disappeared. It's quite close. I think I'm even closer. This one's for you and me. Oh, 170 meters that way. See that? Oh, let's, let's really approach it and hope that it won't. It did disappear! Oh, you bastard. Well, guess what? I'm approaching either way. Lock treasure. Let's call Sano real quick. Sano's showing me that this is my target. Oh. Oh, Almost? Huh? None Almost right here. It's fascinating. Of course, Sun cannot see underwater. That's it! Target located! Thank you, Sun. Wait a minute. Let me dismantle this. Time for a dive, baby. Ready? Three, two, one, dive! Man, this guy swims fast underwater. What is this? Spidey scenes. Oh my god. Look at this. The water is filled with treasures. A second target. Two out of three. I can see the third. Yes! Brilliant! Now what? Bring the jaws back to Rabia. Who? That's about 400 meters away from here. Perhaps I can swim there, still in the same breath. Well, given the speed and uh, how long and the uh, 
the ratio in which I'm losing my breath, I'm gonna have to say, hell no, I'm not gonna make it. Although it's enjoyable to swim here. Speaking of swimming, folks, I would like to tell you something. It's not that important, but I really miss swimming. Point is, oh, air is low, get out, get out, get out. Ah, oh, nice. Really miss swimming, but the thing is, don't enjoy crowded swimming pools, mate. That's, uh... That's the thing. I was almost there. Did you leave that thumbs up or not? I've been waiting all this day. Oh, stop singing, Teddy. Oh, right, here we go. 70 meters. Oh, what's going on here? Take it easy, baby. What has happened? Yeah, that's like that's the grandma, the mate. In the temple ruins. The soldiers threw us out. Even though I paid the nomarch to allow me to use the temple, every few weeks soldiers come to take our medicine and food stocks. Always the same. If the soldiers throw you out, I'm gonna throw them, them out. Royal Army. See how many arrows they have? They, have they may the seem like three or four or five, but. Soldiers. In fact, they're infinite. I mastered the um, Gaelas sort of technique of having infinite arrows. Mm-hmm. Oh! Mm. Mm. Oh, this is fun. Right now I need to kill the bastard soldiers. It's gonna be fun. It's hardly worth raiding this camp. Look at this. Hey, He's approaching. Right? He's coming. And he's dead. That didn't even take an effort. Uh, they will attack on sight here. Spidey scenes activate. Am I? Am I dead? Let me show you who's dead. Headshot. Dominating. Oh shit. That's how you have a headshot. Oh, a lot. Thanks, mate. I needed these four pounds. Check this out. Headshot. Three, two, one. Dominating. Oh. And when you get a headshot, you get experience points. Well, you need to activate the ability first. Wait, are you a victim? Spidey scenes. Yes. Dominating. Thanks for your weapon too. Honestly guys, I am reached to a point where I don't even need to hide from this guy anymore. Check this out. So Baby like the door and turn the lights down low. I really gotta stop this same the song. Check this out. Oh! <laughs> Check this out, check this out. Headshot. Nice. One more to go. Wait, is that a victim? That's a victim. You gotta distinguish between... Hey man, how's it going? I was waiting for you. Listen, uh, about that uh, freaking hit of yours. Eating this. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oh my god, return to Rabia and tell her, listen, those soldiers, well, they're all dead. With experience points. You know why? I should be like, 
Why, son? Why? You'll be like, well, because of Batman. I'm a fool. That's nice. I have arrows, I have fire bombs, and all I need to do, all I want for my birthday. Oh, I can't do that again. Hey, Michelle. The temple is yours now. Those soldiers won't bother you again. All my patience, thank you. Ah, I almost forgot to give you your medicines from the sunken boat. <laughs> you know, the excitement, I forgot about them myself. The oasis of Siwa is lucky to have you, Rabia. <laughs> Promise me you will not become consumed with your vengeance, Bayak. <clears throat> I think of nothing else. By the grace of Amun, one day I will be free of it. Sweet 600 experience points. I think I'm hitting 15. No, not yet, but I got a necklace and a cat amulet. And you know me, I like cats. Um, so... Ho ho ho! There's uh, one level left. I think I saw that. Let's call Rooch real quick. Come on, Rooch. Let's go, baby. We have uh, about a kilometer ride to do right now, so I need you to get me there real quick. Time to reach the area. That would be the last sort of... Uh, hey, you. Hey, hold on. Seriously, you guys will try to stop me. You think of me as what? Level 2? Headshot and experience. Remember when I used to hide and scare here and... And, and, and oh my god, they're gonna kill me? Well, let me tell you something. I don't need to give a hairy rat's ass right now about the fact that this temple is guarded. Here is why. Because I am prepared to whip all of your tushies like this. And get the experience points as well. And take your gold. And then walk alone. And then say I'm Batman. Give me your best soldier. All of them combined. You have no idea what you're gonna get yourself into. Woo! Hey man, look at this! Oh! Ah! Oh. Man, he's dead. Ouch, that hurts, baby. How is this? <laughs> Thanks for your cold. Man, I'm becoming ruthless in this game. The thing is, I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Screw you, McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's had a farm. Yeah, yeah, oh. Waiting for Seth, Daniel, and them. Yeah, yeah, oh. When the subscribe here and the subscribe there. Subscribe, subscribe everywhere. <clears throat> Do I see someone? Headshot! Here's why headshot is amazing, because you get five experience points every time you, you hit a headshot. Hey, hold on. Hold on. I'm a fool, really? Who said hold on? Oh, is that you? Headshot! Show I'm right here. Dominating! Man, this is becoming brilliantly enjoyable. When you level up and you fear nothing of these bastards, you're just like, who's boss right now? Show me who's boss. You know why? They'll be like, why? You gotta say it now in the comment section, not me. Rooch! Get in here! Come on, Rooch, race me! Oh! Ah. Oh! oh! Good boy, Rooch. Here we go, We're almost there. It's a Hina! Nice! The third Hina. Actually, that's not Hina. That one is. Thanks, 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 thanks. 
And thanks. Alright, let's go. Honestly, folks, I don't have the best feeling. Not even in the top 100, the fact that I have to kill those animals as part of the game. Honestly, I, I really don't. I love animals. Why do you have to make me kill them? I guess I've got no choice though, do I? Well, I must have a choice. Perhaps that would be a cool update that the Assassin's Creed can introduce. That you don't have to kill those animals, you can pet them. You can give them names. You can become friends. They can follow you and show them, show, show you their, their cute paws or something. No. Cool. Alright, Roach. Chill for a bit. Whoa! Whoa, look at this lion! Oh my god, look at the graphics! This lion looks so real! Oh my god, I'm letting him hit me because he looks cute and amazing! No, it says kill the lions! Please, no! Please, please! The lion is a cat! Please, I love you! Can I just, like, I don't know... No! I really love lions! I, I don't know! Here, you can, you can hit me, it's okay! Uh, it's like scratch on my back, yeah, scratch my back, baby! Oh yeah, that's the spot! Oh yes! Oh my god, there are two of them! Oh! I don't want to kill them! You Assassin's Creed has to be a force. This is the flaw. These cute lions. Alright, Teddy, calm down. They're only dig digital lions. They're not real. So listen, digital lions. Burn. Oh my god, he looks really burn. Holy crap, no. Alright. I am so sorry. The only comfort that I can find is that you're not real. Speak to Radia. Holy crash. Rooch! Get in here. Whoa, there's another line. Where did you go, Rooch? Follow me. This is just cruel. Here we go. So we need to go back to speak to Rita. I'm sorry. I really am. Please, Assassin's Creed Origins. Next update or next game, just get this animal cruelty out of the way. Killing humans, you know, that's not so bad. Whoa. But, <laughs> killing those animals. <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty, let's see what we got from here. Oh, nice. have a lot of pressure points in here. Alright Rouge, let's go. We are approaching the desired location right there. What are you drinking right now? You gotta stay hydrated. Here we go. No, oh, no, 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 not this way. Because you won't be able to jump it, that's why. 
Alright, Rooch. You've got to take a chill right now. Relax. Hit that subscribe button. And then I'll just climb this wall so I can give you some rest. Here we go. Searching for treasures. I guess nothing's here. It's a pool place. What am I to judge? What about here? Nothing really. I'm almost approaching the reader place to tell him, listen mate. Those lions you're afraid of, the ones that attacked you, while well, they're no longer a threat. They won't, they won't do a thing to you. And he'll be like, how can you be so sure? How can you tell me this with absolute confidence? And I'll be like, well, because I'm Batman. Well, I, that wasn't really my best Batman impression, but still. Whoa, 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 where's the target? Is Rita the kid who's selling things? Is that Rita? Hey, is your name Rita? Dead man need Demagi has returned. In need of more finery? Yes, in a moment. I'm curious, Rita. What the hell happened? Long story, Seni. What's going on? Of Alexandria. Legendary outfit! And the mummy! The oh, this is nice. I'm sorry, Rita. Well, this cobra outfit is pretty legendary on its own, but to be honest, I'm gonna put on the mummy and see what's going on. I wander the desert and see the sunset when I want to. This is my freedom. I see. As always, you are wise beyond your years. Osiris here's not the morning. You are wise beyond your years. You are so wise beyond any ears I have ever seen. Uh, question, is the quest completed? Looks like it, otherwise why would I receive this legendary outfit? Alright, time to change it to put on the mummy outfit. Ooh, Legendary outfit is also this Sekhmet costume. And also the Cobra is a legendary outfit, honestly. Alright, let's try this mummy. Shall I try the mummy or, or try the Cobra? Alright, cool. Mummy's on. What about the shield and stuff? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 I there no I think I've received something. Alright, what I have equipped is level 14 and that's what matters, right? This is also level 14 and this is a rare sickle sword epic sick. Alright, cool. And I was right, I am level 15 right now and I do have one ability point. So let's continue with the warrior ones. Three, take from one, I think I can do that. Cool. Here we go. Look at this mummy outfit. Look at the red eyes. Holy smokes. Holy guacamole. Sand is dropping from my outfit. I mean, I'd be frightened just looking at this guy. In real life. Alright, quest. Looks like I'm back to my old Bakes Promise quest. I have one out of twelve found. I need really to I need to get this done. This is the only side quest left. And then I Seth! Hello and welcome back! He just made a Ubisoft account and got the I give out for the cool mission worth 4,000 experience points. Bloody brilliant, if you ask me. Now, while you were uh, taking the time to join in here, and first of all, thank you for joining. I've uh, actually accomplished two or three side quests. I do have one side quest left. Look at this. These are sort of like mandatory or sort of like main ones. This is the only side quest left, and I'm still back at the same one, which is Bakes Promise. And I need to find the and interact with the stone circles in Egypt. Now honestly, I need some help here because I am having troubles finding those those stones. Look at this outfit right there, Seth. This is the indistinguishable, gorgeously, astonishingly terrifying mummy legendary outfit with the sand dropping of out of corner in my body. Brilliant if you ask me. So, now back to the 
uh, stone circles in Egypt, right? So, um, looking at the map right now, and what I can see, well, I can see a map, which is great. Um, <laughs> that's a, it's a playing cards game, so you're going to deal some cards. Alright, so, uh, what is this? This is, uh, some, some place. These are pictures, basically. I don't understand this sort of, like, blue cloud, honestly. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it, but I, I need, I need to know where is my next stone circle is. Now, I have a crazy idea. Aligning the stars. To go back here, to go back to the aligning stars, like yesterday, again, walk through will help you find them. I don't know where they are. They can't all be seen due to having to walk by them. I see what you're saying. All right, so I've targeted something on the map, which is not very far away, to be honest. I'm going to have Rooch uh, come up right now. And I'm going there right now because I believe this is where I found the first uh, stone circle. So I'm going back there and hoping that by continuing straight, I would unlock more locations in the map and that will lead me to more stone circles. I need 12 of them found and then I'll be all set. I'm level 15 right now, which is brilliant if you ask me. Ooh. Oh dears. Oh dear. Um, it's always funny whenever I remember the picture of a deer holding a bear of gloves, right? You can Google this, it's pretty famous. A deer holding a bear of gloves, uh, facing a bear, and then the bear is saying, I'm gonna kill you with my bare hands. And the bear is saying, oh dear. <laughs> it is just, that is always hilarious. So this is where the Amun Stone Circle is. Um, I've been already there, I don't need to see it, so what I will do is just pretty much right now try to keep going straight for a minute, see where that leads me, and enjoy this gorgeous sand right there. And I must say, Rooch is pretty strong, because I'm, I'm not a judge here, but the first stone circle is not going to be helpful right in your region where you want to see a possible map. Right. That's exactly my point. I already passed the first stone circle. Um, I, as you can see on the upper left corner, see a new region discovered. Great Sand Say. Oh no. That's two down. Whoa. Really? That's three down. <laughs> I don't know why I'm carrying him. So I'm just gonna drop him here. I don't need to sneak in. This is my spidey scenes. Headshot! Five experience points. Epic sick! Headshot! Wicked sick! Alright, let's see if they have any stone circles in here. Oh well, I've got a legendary shield! Level 15! This might be even better than my own shield. Something's happening. Something's happening. Oh, no. Right. Let's take a look at this fantastic shield. Even though I upgraded my shield to level 14. Yeah, it's it's still still kind of better. Wait a minute. No, this shield is better. Quality 37. HP 405. And this is HP 385. Alright, I'm going to equip this one. Alright, cool. It's also rare. That's my point, so right now I unlocked I unlocked this place, or this location. So what I'll do is I'm calling Rooch, 
And sounds like a joke on Facebook. What is it? <laughs> yeah, the uh, the deer and the bear. Yeah, actually, I saw that picture on Facebook as well. So, I see something there. Hopefully, it'll be a new region. And then I'll take a look at the map to know where I am exactly. So... Oh, this mummy outfit, man. It's just brilliant. Wow. Also, if you ever want to bring a dead person on your adventures, you can put them on your horse. And that was a vision from here in the desert. Really? Oh, wow. I didn't know. Well, that explains it. A vision from the heat in the desert. I'm actually trying to reach this location. I see something there. Let me see. Something is dropping. Bloody hell. What the hell is it raining? Are these dead birds? Are these insects? Is it raining? Cats and dogs in there. Raining dead birds. Or insects. Bloody hell. Talk about weird. Oh, I'm having another heat vision. White desert. Alright, Rooch. Stay here for a sec. This is the white desert. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I see something in there. Sort of a cloud. Oh. He. No. Man, this heat is affecting me. As George Costanza would say from from Seinfeld, these pencils are making me thirsty. Here we go. Look at the sandstorm right there. Crap. Don't want to be around this one. Let's take a look at the map real quick. I've never been seen a big rain in AC. It's crazy. It's all really crazy. Wow. Where I am? In the white desert. Ooh. Oh. I've discovered the great sun sea. Alright, here's what you do, Teddy. Just go back to um uh, mum 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 mum. Whoa. Fayum! Wow, this is the Fayum. It's actually a city in Egypt. And Giza too. That's brilliant. Shall I continue and cross this white desert? Or go back to Siwa? Possibly cross them. Yeah, I'm going to go back to Siwa. So I'm going to turn right. Damn it. Oh. Here we go. Yes. I need to continue straight. Time to call Rooch. Oh, sandstorm is hitting me. Let's go, Rooch. Look at that! Talk about sandstorm, mate. Great sun sea. That's where I am. It is true, mate. It's like an ocean of sand. It's scary being in the middle of it there. It really is scary. Uh, 
Can I just fast travel to Siwa? Oh! I thought I have to be at fast travel point to fast travel to Siwa. No? 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 Yes! Brilliant! Alright. Back in Siwa. Calling Rooch. At least we've got some civilization in here. Well, Alright, listen. I'm gonna go to this temple. Destroy everything in it. He's dead! Headshot! Dominating! We've got a notification! Oh, it's just Twitter! Ah, oh, here we go! Check this out! No need to hide anymore! Headshot! Seriously? Oh, I got a sickle sword. Well, let's see what lot treasures are here. Nice, these are five coins. Nice, I need this money. What is this? I'm not entirely certain, but all right. Hey, hold on. Who's telling me to hold on? That's right. Don't tell me to hold on anymore. Oh, nice. Three coins. Ammo full, really? That's surprising. Headshot time. Nice. Yes. You're dead. It is so amazing that I can just destroy them on the spot. That's right, baby. That's right, baby. Not really. Maybe for you. Sorry about that, but you asked for it. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Well, my day was uh, pretty kind of normal. Actually, it was great because I had a chance to steam today um, for the second time, which I'm doing right now. So I'm really happy that I'm back here with you, and hopefully Daniel will join as well. And uh, I had another frozen pizza. <laughs> so nothing, nothing too special or crazy. Today's my cheat day, so I can pretty much eat any crap or, or junk I, I, I kind of crave. So, which is kind of weird to say actually. But, but you, get to the, you get the point. So, oh well. And now I'm back here, and uh, I'm gonna be streaming for 
couple of hours and then unfortunately I'm going to have to go to bed so I can wake up and go to work tomorrow and look forward to tomorrow's stream. I really can't wait to stream tomorrow, the day after, the day after, the day after. Thank you for asking. How was your Sunday? I think I got another rare item right there. Alright, cool. That's actually not that bad, you know. There's another garden there, so... Let me whip his arse real quick. Where is he? The end has come for you. Nice. I'm not here, dumbass. Hey, aren't you the leader? Well, if you are, then you're dead. Seriously, the leader, and you're not carrying any money? <laughs> no competition. I remember when they desynchronized me bunch of times here before good to know that I'm whipping their asses easy right now <laughs> here we go check the ammo real quick should be another ammo in here nope Should be another one in there. Ammo full, really? But well, I used a bunch of arrows. Well. Nice headshot. Headshot. Dominating. That guy just ran away. What a bastard. Where are you going, man? Seriously? <laughs> it's warning me that reinforcements are coming. Uh, what are you saying, uh, sir? Hold on. I'm just taking that. Cool. Um, yeah, mine was good. Basically, normal day, except I walk up and... <laughs> oh no, who was doing it? some vacuum cleaning? It's that feeling when you wake up um, because of vacuum cleaning voice. Headshot. Nice. Am I seeing some bastards that are approaching? <laughs> ah, too bad, man. That was just easy. of towels which is interesting if there was a swimming pool in the middle of here I'd understand but 
Why do they need that much towels for? Oh, something's here. Nice. Look, treasure, three on three. Brilliant, location complete, 150 experience points. That's brilliant. I think there is anyone here that can dare to stop me. Whoa. This place is epic. No, thank you, sir. My bad. Nope. It's like a tomb or something. Just before I met you, drink too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay. <laughs> hey, you all gotta be really dead for some level 15 right now, which is amazing. Wait a minute, assassin, assassin. Hey now, hey now. Not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere, mate. You're dead. Hey now. Oh wow, I'm getting a bunch of weapons here. Nice. Nice. Eyes open, steady on. Whoa! What a beautiful assassination. Headshot. Headshot. Nice. There's another treasure that is out there. Cool, three arrows, thank you for that. So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your rover. I know I know I know I'll get you down. But you need to use me so now. So baby, pull me closer. Oh, that's it. Hey. I was doing far right before I met you. Oh my god, the nuts an issue, but I'm okay. I hope that makes a sequel origins of possibly being Baker's father. <laughs> yeah, same here. We've learned so far that Bake is the. Uh, oh wow, look at this. Oh, he doesn't want to go down. We learned so far that Bake is the first Super Saiyan. Shit. And not only that, what I think, may my theory, he might be the first mutant from X-Men or the Wolverine because that guy can heal quite quickly. And I believe this is where the Wolverine um, gained his ability of course after inheriting this for generations and generations and if we want to depend on the movie X-Men Apocalypse the very first mutant was sort of a pharaoh so which is fascinating in other words this is the Assassin's Creed slash X-Men's Apocalypse Origins Apocalypse 2.0 extended 
Dark Edition um, dominating. So now, uh, final interact with the Stone Circles in Egypt. One out of twelve found. Uh, I honestly, I, I don't know, mate. I I'm not really good at this. So let's see if I can take uh, another quest real quick. Right, I do have quests that are suggested for really, really high levels. Crap. The lowest one is, again, the one um, at level 19. Right. He's level 19. Scarab's lies. That bastard. I'm going to assassinate the Scarab. Let me give it another go. I was level 13, I believe. Now I'm level 15, so I'm significantly stronger. But... They are level 19, they're still four levels away from me, so they will actually de uh, synchronize me. The other side quest is. Alright. The other side quest is suggested for level 35. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it, mate. It's all X Men and. Um, and sort of uh, Dragon Ball together. All right, let me let me see the map real quick. That's done, really. Not touch a three out of three. All right, cool, cool. All right, here we go, Teddy. All right, fine. Let's go there. I'm going to go to the fast travel point and from there travel to the other city that is right next to this one. Hey, I was doing fine just before I met you. I drank too much, and that's an issue, but I'm okay. Alright, let's go there. Can't travel there now, can I? Weapon Hang on. What is it, Fila? Hey, got you. After him. Nice. Thank you for your money. Beautiful swim. That's what I just needed. So, baby, pull me. Oh, you gotta stop singing that, mate. Bayek could be the early king of the Saganda from the Black Panther. Well, that is also a very good theory. Couldn't he just... Holy crap! Almost killed myself from the jump. Couldn't he just be all of these things combined? Because question is, why wouldn't he be? Um, Egypt is pretty much the starting point of civilization, possibly. So... It all started there. It's the oldest civilization in the world. That is for sure. And if they all came from there, then Bayek could be the Black Panther's grand, 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 great, 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 grandfather. And also Dragon Ball Super or Goku, the very first Super Saiyan. From Planet Vegeta and also the X-Men Origin Apocalypse Assassination Last Stand 2.0 Charles Xavier's Magneto's Bottom um, Extended. What is this? So I'm really enjoying discussing all these theories, mate, because Alright, so now I'm in the animal cave. I don't want to go to the animal cave. I'm right here, so exactly, I need to go straight. So I want to discover a new region right now. Here we go. Oh, look at the color right now. It's beautiful sunset, baby. That's just gorgeous, if you ask me. Here we go. Oh, wow! By the way, um... I was looking forward to the 
Dragon Ball Super episode today, but I found out two things that the episode will be next week, episode 130, and then what's even sadder about that, that the, uh, the rumor says that the last episode of Dragon Ball Super will be episode number 131, and that will be also two weeks from 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 now. So, in other words, Dragon Ball Super will reach its end in one month from now, which is sad. It's just really sad. Come on, up, baby. There we go. Up, 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 up. up. What a beautiful climber. Up. So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your rover. There we go. Up. I believe I can fly. Oh no. Oh Kelly, what happened to you, mate? I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it every now and then. With all in my heart. You're not alone. Libu discovered. Brilliant. That's what I needed to do, actually. That's why I came here in the first place. So now what's in Libu? Oh, I see some animals. Holy crap, they're all higher level than me. Let's test this. Oh my god, it will be difficult to win against them. In other words, I'm screwed. Oh my god, desynchronized from a bunch of animals that are on much higher level than me. Good thing I didn't go after that scarab guy because he would make me scrap my own tushy. Now where I am right now. Okay, I discovered Luba, which is great. Katara Depression. I already discovered that. I need to turn right and then just walk straight. Turn right, walk straight. And discover a new region. Sad but existing. Yeah, it's true. Here we go. Have you ever noticed that I believe in I believe in can fly the song from R. Kelly can be easily easily linked up to Michael Jackson's "You're Not Alone." They're pretty much the same song, but with different lyrics. Check this out. I believe I can fly. I'm terrible singer, by the way. So I'm sorry. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Sorry about that. I believe I can trash the sky. Yeah. I think about it every now and then. With all in my heart. And now it comes. Do not alone. I see question mark. I'm gonna turn. Wait a minute, there's another one right here. So actually, I'm gonna turn the right, actually. Whitish. Like that. I see it. 280, 270, 260. Whoa! Sorry about that. There's a firebird. The O's in my heart. And now it goes. I believe I can hold the shift button on my keyboard. I believe I can fly. And then Michael Jackson comes back and he goes like, But you're not alone. And then he comes saying, But true, I am alone. And then Michael Jackson asks him, like, Oh, Kelly, why are you alone? Leopard there. That's where I am right now. Well, 25 to 200 points. And he'll be like, Because I'm not but man. And, you know, it just goes in cycle. Alright, so, 
Wait a minute, kill item at location. Alright, cool. So there's gonna be a king item right now. Oh my god, much higher level than me. I am so dead. Oh! Oh no, 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 no! Do you synchronize properly, mate? What the hell? Look at that little pot. Animal power. Yeah, I can do that. I've been thinking about this for many years. They really are the pretty same song, so if this happens one day, Teddy needs to take the credit. I believe... I well, they can't do a collab anymore because, well, one is dead and the other one is... Uh, honestly, I have no idea what's going on with them. So I'm going to turn right and continue straight. Turn right, continue straight so I can discover the location. It's just when, when Michael Jackson hits that note and... Well, he's gone really, but his music will live forever, that's for sure. Boom! Boom! Alright, let's go. Also, Sting songs, the <laughs> Sting songs, they can also be linked up really. Um, as well as that, they're pretty much, some of them sound pretty much the same, so... That's not the shape of my heart. That's not the shape... Something's here. Oh no, it's alive! Oh my god, he's gonna kill me! Oh my god, I'm gonna be desynchronized again. Like, listen, leave me alone, please, man. Leave me alone. I right, listen. Listen to the sound of my fart. I mean, heart. Leave me alone. Oh my god, that was close. Firebomb! Oh, desynchronized. They didn't even let me fire the firebomb. Seriously. Lion. Do you know a guy called Danda? Because. I don't like that guy. His name is Dandelion. Wait a minute. Yeah, I am walking in the right direction. So I'm going to discover the new hemisphere uh, region soon. Man, I'm telling you right now, those lions are much, much stronger than me. One, one hit. Pretty much, well, two hit, two hits and I'm, I'm dead. Uh, it's not very fair. No. Oh, let me be clear. When those clients hit me twice, all I want to do is uh, hit them back. But the question is, uh, can we do it? Uh, I think yes we can. This is uh, Barack Obama and I proved this message for about 35 minutes because the guy who's going to come after me is not going to prove it. Uh, yes, it's true. That was awful impression, by the way. But still, the stars look beautiful in this game. Here we go. Oh, here we go. You know, here we go. Up, up, up. So the lion won't be able to catch you. I believe this is a new region. <laughs> what region am I in? Daniel, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. This is a good question. Daniel, what I've been doing so far is discovering new regions. So I discovered, um, what is it called, Libu, Libu Air, uh, and right now I'm about to enter, as you can see, the Green Mountains. Um, well, I need to unlock a few things on the map because I really can't find the rest of the Circle Stones. Welcome back, Daniel. We're really pleased that you're here. How was your day so far? We were just talking about the fact that I believe I can fly from R. Kelly, uh, this is my theory, uh, is almost pretty much the same song as Michael Jackson, You're Not Alone. You can link these two up and you wouldn't, you wouldn't recognize that you listen to a different song, you know? New region discovered, Green Mountains, brilliant. Nope. Whoa! 
something that is happening here. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. Daniel, check out this badass mummy outfit that I have right now. The red eyes, the mummy outfit is just wicked. Also, also, I upgraded my swords to level 14, the rare one. I have a pretty rare shield at level 15. And we are heading the way. Now, this has been unlocked on the map, which is great. Yeah, I see pretty much... Uh, Let's go to this good Roman. Oh my god, side quest, level 33, no thank you. I can't fast travel there. Let's go to that bazaar, see what I end up with. Alright, here we go. The bazaar is not very far from here. <laughs> Seth, you know me, Seth. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Alright, here we go. Whoa, easy. Jumpy. Hello, sir. How you doing? Alrighty then. Somebody stop me. I really do love Jim Carrey. Smoking. Oh, my name is Seth Obama. Seth Obama. Now that sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Seth Obama. It's like Obama Seth. Kind of like Wrath. Obama's Seth Wrath. <laughs> Any of you heard of the IT crowd? The TV show? Legendary one? Let me know. The IT crowd. Because I'm about to make an IT crowd joke or reference, but I don't want to do it if you don't know the show. It's just one of my favorites as well. Classic BBC, kind of old IT crowd is just brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant! <laughs> Oh no, it's not. Well, Dan Daniel, um, listen, it's 10.30 p.m. where you are. It's 11.30 p.m. where I am. And I do plan to go to work at 7 a.m. as well. So we are in the same boat. And also, um, what do you do for a living, uh, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I work at IBM. Um, what about you? Here we go. We're about to approach this. Brilliant bridge actually looks like one of these Roman stadiums if you ask me. It looks beautiful I believe I can dawn I believe I can gain till dawn I believe I can lie Alright here we go New location discovered Oh there's a life in here. What is this? Something's happening. Whoa! Maybe the lash will loosen your tongue. Enough! My workers are not to blame. Send me some soldiers with half a brain or we'll never find my dioptra. What's this British guy doing in the Assassin's Creed? A Roman standing up for Egyptians. Pathetic. Tell Agrippa I need real soldiers who will help me find these thieves. Now scuttle back to your wine, you sacks of uselessness. <laughs> Are you the one responsible for working my people to death? <laughs> your people? They're yeah. my people. You're right, mate. keeping them alive in the face of increasingly bad odds. But who are you, my Egyptian friend? Bayek of Siwa, protector of these people. Well, Bayek of Siwa, I am Vitruvius, and contrary to popular belief, not all Romans are your enemy. If you would help your people, then help me. Our tools have been stolen. My surveying tool, the Dioptra, specifically. Without it, construction has stalled on the aqueduct. The general's idiots believe my workers are to blame. Maybe I can look for this Dioptra. The Uptra. This elevated river would flow into the farms of Cyrenaica. Cyrenaica. Up at the construction site. He used it last. Fortuna go with you, Bayek of Siwa. Oh my god! 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 Oh my god!
my god, wait a second, suggested level 33, I have no chance of finishing this quest. This is pretty much more than double of what I am now. Then I'm gonna say no. Back to quests. Damn it, it's they're all really high. The lowest one is the Scarab Lies, level 19, and I'm level 15, right? Oh, righty then. Fine circles or what have you. Look at that. Wait a minute. Let me go there to the fast travel point so I can synchronize it. It'd be cool to climb this, let's try. Wow, look at that. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful right there. Gorgeous view. I guess you're right, that's why I'm going to the fast travel point, Daniel. But Daniel, honestly man, um, there's one thing that is not giving me mental satisfaction. Here we go. Synchronizing. Thing is, the only side quest that I have left is this stone circles in Egypt, honestly. I found only one with you today, earlier on. And I just can't, uh, nice, 300 experience points. I just can't find the rest. That's why I've, I was thinking about just discovering those additional uh, those additional ones. So I'm going to go back to the map right now. I'm back to Siwa. It should be right here. Fast travel, so I'm back in Siwa right now. And thing is, I honestly just, I have no clue how to find them. Um... Seth was telling me to do uh, to do some walkthrough or something, um, but I have oh where well, apologies I'm going oh, sorry, but I have no chance of finding them. Get out of my way! Really? You Stop your shit! Nice. Hello, Toma. Be careful, Bayek. See what's not like it was. Thanks, Maru. All right. Yes, I have been in Alexandria. Yes, Daniel, I've been in Alexandria. I'm going to go to the map real quick to show you. Um, Alexandria was somewhere here. Yes, right here. Shall I go to Alexandria? I can fast travel there. <laughs> My face cam can be looking like a cyborg every second. <laughs> All right, let me go to Alexandria then. Fast travel to Alexandria. Beautiful city in real life, actually. It's just gorgeous. But uh, it's getting a little bit more polluted, if you ask me. So, all right, I'm in Alexandria. I don't know how to find. The, I see them exclamation mark right there in front of me. So possibly I, I should be able to find some. Uh, some quests. Yeah, this guy right here. Alexandrians, we must stand against these. Oh, uh, here we go. Bayek, finally, someone who appreciates my genius. My play has been confiscated. You are attracting trouble. Worse yet, they jailed my actors, all among the finest poets of Alexandria. They say if I attempt to put on the play, I will be put to death. Be careful, Phanos. You are frail and brittle. 
You stick to writing, and I will help you find your play and actors. All right. Suggested level 20. It's another side quest that I just found, and that's suggested level 20. Oh, God. I think I can. I have a better chance killing this crab lies and going to this crab uh, thing quest. But still four levels ahead of me. They're level 19 and level 15. I'm not really certain I'll be able to make it. Alright. I see a question mark right in front of me. So let's approach it. Honestly, it looks beautiful. I was there actually more than 10 years ago, so it's been ages. But back then it looked really beautiful. The beach is beautiful. Um, wait, what is this? It, it, it said... What? To, uh, Oh, right. The people are overall friendly, but of course some of them will always try to fool you. New location is covered. Emperor's battle theme. Alright, let me say, there might be another side quest over there. It's this guy. Yes. No, not that one. He is too... Here we go. You, at Insignia. You are a man of honor. Okay, go back to the second so area. Where you just come and pick up all the quests. I problems. Good. I have here. one. Oh, brilliant. Precious treasure, which must be delivered today. You will be well compensated for your work. <laughs> here are some drachmas to start. The city is much more expensive than I'm used to. Good. It is settled. Follow me. Wait a minute. What level is suggested here? The thing I ask you to do. Oh, it's suggested level 15. I guess I can do that. Of course it is. Here we go, I can do that. And it's 800 experience points. No it's matter, called... I assure you, moving Follow the Martians. Or even statues is not easy work. Here we go. Ah, these workers never when you tell them to be. As I was saying, you must be quick. Oh, and do not stray from your task at all. I will know if you have. This is all I have left since the flood. Seems you care a lot for your... cargo. I swear on her mother's grave she was sent from the gods to make Alexandria better. She? I have your bodyguard, Kara. Do not let this be a repeat of the last time, daughter. Wait, so this hardly seems to be what you asked. Magi, I will put drachmas down your throat as long as she is safe. And Kara, remember the reception <laughs> tonight. You will be ready. Of course, father. I would not miss it. I am so Bring happy Kara to, to the dock. We will get you home fast. Do not worry. Oh, of course. Thank you, my bull. You okay. Just like Heracles. Perhaps I'll call you my Heracles. Alright. So I need to sell right here. New location discovered. Shit, that's a restricted area. Change of plans, Heracles. Who? Ah, no matter. Child, it's time to return you home. I will not go. Have you met the priests here? Dull. No, I must go to the central market. I heard of new Persian linens. I need them. Or what? I will scream, which will call the soldiers. Then, well, even if you survive, Father will be quite angry. Anubis, take this city. Are you Sekhmet in disguise? Send to test me. What was that? Nothing. So, <laughs> first, we must get my horse. She's been treated absolutely terribly without me around. You'd think someone would clean this water. <laughs> you guide the boats well. Much better than any of my other bodyguards. No, if you want to go fast, kill the captain, right. kill the commander. Look at the city. I think my cat out. is going crazy. It's so intimidating for someone like you. So, Balkan is the Those best option. Are boats. Not like this thing. Um, may I give what you this one so you drink me water? I really okay. appreciate it. Ah, yes. Just, just call, call the water. I'm really thirsty. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Hey, 
Let's use my spider scenes. We're almost there, girl. Yeah? So I need to follow this girl. You can smell it in Her name is Kara. Truly simple life here. Pegasus simply can't wait to be reunited. <laughs> of course, you what? named your What are you guys talking Pegasus. about? Cheer up. Oh, candy bar. <laughs> Young Mrs. <laughs> nice to see you again. As you asked. Oh, that's really sweet of you. There now, was that so difficult? Now out of my pay. The deal was only to get you home. Not to pay for your horse. I'm sure my father would not be pleased with you discussing this in front of him, horseman. Of course. Uh, I'll discuss it with your father. Oh, Pegasus. I know you missed me. Yes, you did, you beautiful <laughs> creature. Pegasus. If only you had wings. Time to go, bodyguard. Bodyguard? Oh, disrespectful, disrespectful kind of kid right there. Do I need to do? Oh wow! I'm mounting the horse with me. Look at that! That is it. She's riding the horse with me. I'm taking you home, Princess Kara. Oh, all you big broody types are the same. Never let me have any fun. I should just leave you here. You're duty bound to deliver me, are you not? Who would know if I left? Your conscience would, of course. This woman is irritating. Look there, bodyguard. Th that is where I had my first discussion with a soldier. American sweet, American candy bars are really sweet compared to the UK. It's true. Although American ones can be very tasty as well. I will take you to your house as your father bed, and no way. I know. I would prefer. I know. I would prefer. I just would like to take um, sneakers or Twix or Kit Kat. Pretty much any day. Um, than my usual bodyguards. Yeah, these are not so bad. These are not bad at all. You could move faster, bodyguard. <laughs> I have a name. Bayek. Ah, you do know my name. I remember all their names, you know. Whose name? The bodyguards. I send gifts to their families when I can. Gara. Gara. Yes? If we go find your linen. S you be happy. Really? Of course! Thank you, Bunny. You have an interesting stare. Thank you. Here we go. Stop you. Right there. <laughs> Almost there. Finally. Whoa. I gotta follow this guy now. Search for any possible treasures. Aha! Finally! These linens show some promise. Ah, oh, it's so heavy. Would you help me? Are you kidding? Stay here. Do not leave. What's going on? Get Pegasus from the thief. What? Get Pegasus from the thief. You bastard! Leave Pegasus. Oh no! I need Rooch. Come on, Roach. Let's go! Come on, Roach. Oh, that guy is fast, you know. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. I see you, thief. Whoa. I can get some guy. Here, the... Oh, you bastard. Super Saiyan! You're mine. It is done. Where's Pegasus? Pegasus! Wait for me! Let's go, baby. Whoa there, guy. Hey, it's time to get you home. Your troublesome mistress will have you. Here we go. Whoa there, guy. Hey, it's time to get you home. Your troublesome mistress will have missed you. Pegasus, huh? I like it. It suits a horse. I would like your spirit. That's a beautiful horse right there. <laughs> oh, let's go, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. Over here, Bayek. Speak, print. Papa, since Pegasus was limping, Bayek went to deal with her shoe. It was only gone a moment. Oh, I heard some commotion, but according to my little princess, you're the hero of the day. Can he always be my bodyguard? Please, father? How much does it cost to hire a Medjai permanently? I am here only a short while. Alas, then allow me to grant you a hero's pay for a hero's service. Nice, and he paid me nicely. 800 experience points. And I'm getting close to level 16. Bayek, you've returned to me. Are you ready to be my personal Magi? Uh, Never. Well, uh, no. I, I... Here we go. Damn it, I'm still... I'm still level 15. You, you, you see... Uh... You see, I'm leaving, girl. <laughs> I'm so not staying here with you. Bayek. I'm only happy to see you still in one piece. Best bodyguard in the city. Best bodyguard in the city, that's what she said. I see an exclamation mark in there. That means possibly a side quest. As the IT crowd scene would say, Fire! Exclamation mark! Fire! Exclamation mark! Fire! Exclamation mark! Looking forward to hearing from you! With love. What is this? Asia Bells? I should be cautious around here. Mm. Restricted. Alright. Which are scenes? Oh, oh, oh. Let's test how strong they are. He's dead. Hey, 
Oh my lord almighty! Oh. Oh. Yeah, I do have some arrows. Heal, damn it, heal! Bloody hell! Desynchronization! <laughs> Here we go! And we are back at Alexandria. That quest has been done. Let me see if I can do a thing or two that are interesting here. Yeah, there's a blacksmith in front of me. Possibly I can sell a few things. Hey, I was doing five just before I met you. A too much, and that's an issue, but I'm okay. Let's see what can I sell. They all unnecessary items. I'm rich, brilliant. Is there anything I can upgrade? Level 1 to level 15. Wait a minute, look at this. A moon's blink 142 per second. 138. That's actually stronger than what I have. Level 1 to level 13. 15. Wait a minute, this is 138 per second. Copper sword, rare regular sword. So this was 138. This is 137. And the one that I have is 145. Okay, that's stronger. Yeah, I can upgrade it. Brilliant, level 15 sword. Brilliant. Teddy. Is that teenager looking at their friend's phones to see what they're talking about? What teenager? <laughs> what teenager? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Upgrade. Oh, and I can't upgrade anymore. Possibly. Wait, maybe I can upgrade my shield? Yes. Possibly. Level 14 to level 15. Oh no, I don't have enough money to upgrade it. No idea. Yeah. You don't have anything else to sell, do I? I do have a few things to sell. Is that I can sell this? I can sell this. I can sell this. Um, no, I can sell this. I have two of these, 34 and 35. I can sell this. I can sell this. Oh, here we go. I can also sell this axe. Alright. So Seth is saying, yeah, all right, Daniel. I uh, know Seth. Why? What teenager are you referring to? All right, cool. Ninety per second. I can sell this as well. This is an equip one. I can't sell it. I can sell this. Ooh, I've got a rare shield. Well, I'm equipped with this one as well. I can sell this. All right. I believe I do have enough money now to. Upgrade something real quick. Um, hmm. Level 1 to level 15. Yeah, I think I can upgrade that. But it's not the one that I'm using, so I don't need to. Here we go. So, what, what's happening now is that I'm still in that quest, uh, which is called Bike Promise, where I'm supposed to find all uh, 11 remaining circles, stone circles in Egypt, right, and thing is, I'm in Alexandria, oh crap, you got the Mustafa blade, it's one of my favorite blade, yes, I got the Mustafa's blade, <laughs> and it's a rare legendary one, um, is, is there any way I can give it to you if you're playing the game? Like within the game, for example, send it as a gift or something, because I would do that. Alright then. 
I see a question mark, possibly a side quest, only 200 meters away from me, so I'm going to fall away. Oh, here we go, climbing up, what a beautiful, beautiful graphics, honestly. Oh, here we go. That's not to draw attention here. Alright. Where's that question mark? Yeah, no, I see it. About a hundred meters away from me. Less. No, I need this one. Seventy. Sixty. Fifty. New location is covered. Armory. Forty. Thirty. What's going on here? Crap. These are the people that are capable of killing me with one hit. Damn it. But because I'm still level 15. can't accept that it's no problem at all you're a hardcore solid fan I would give it to you or Daniel any day any week any time honestly no hesitation too bad there is no way that perhaps there'll be an update where you can just like I don't know exchange sort of weapons or something possibly I don't know send them as gifts or something uh, nothing here gold wise No! My god, I almost killed myself with this. Alright, I'm gonna try to kill this guy. Crap, he's level 19, man. He's level 19. Crap, he's following me. Damn it. Oh! Oh my god! I'm still waiting, well not waiting, it's trying, actually searching for this stone circles and I'm still level 15, I need to level up all the way to 18 or 19 so I can really march those bastards because let's be honest, they can still rip my tushy with two hits since they are on a really higher level than me, so no time to desynchronize pretty much a hundred times trying to succeed um, here we go beautiful girls all over the world they're going to chase but my turn oh no don't say teddy all right here we go go 
Is there got nothing on you? Oh wow. Damn it. Stop, you shit. I am really out of ammo. <laughs> Quick slaughter. You're mine, baby. Oh, you those bastards. Slaughter! Kill the captain real quick. Please tell me you have ammo over there. Because I need it. Nice. Ouch, something just broke. Hey man, how's it going? That is an experience point. Something is happening. Let's try headshot. The Brazil. Oh, I can transform to Super Saiyan. There you are. Really? You're dead, mate. Hey, what? <laughs> Who said breast? What? <laughs> cannot escape. But I can. Any ammo in here? Nope, looks like I'm gonna have to kill it the old fashioned way. Nice! One hit down. Kibutis Arsenal. Was it cold? Oh, yes, I need this ammo. No way, I'm a fool, really. Well, thanks for telling me. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. You come out here if you had it. Let me see what you got. This place is not so bad. <laughs> nice. Bloody hell, they burned me. Nice. Oh my god almighty. Take this look. Oh, I've got a legendary spear. They might say hi, and I might say hey. Oh wow, a lot of lots. Nice. Nice. 
Thanks for the money, folks. Seth is saying, Teddy, what is your favorite candy uh, bar? That's why I included the question. My favorite candy bar. That's a fantastic question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name three candy bars. And I would take any one of the three any time. So that's uh, Kit Kat, Snickers, and Twix. I love those three. I really do. I mean, I'm not buying them regularly or anything like that. But I would take any any of them any day of the week. Snickers, Kit Kat, and Twix in no particular order. What is your favorite? Oh, there's another one there. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good one, Daniel. Um, have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your evenings. I will also end my stream very, very soon. I think at about 10 or 15 minutes from now. Because I too have to uh, prepare for tomorrow. And But I'll be more than happy to stream tomorrow. And I'll be more than happy to have you both joining the stream because this has been absolutely fun. Alright, this quest is pretty much done for now. What I can do is, um... Hmm... I can't fast travel in here, but I can fast travel in here. So I'm fast travel back to Alexandria and then I'm gonna have to just go back and turn left. All right, so. Seth, actually this would be a good point as well for me to pause. <laughs> I really, really, really hope that we will make it in real life, Seth. I believe we will, and I will bring Kit Kat, Snickers, and Twix with me as well. <laughs> Thanks, man, I really appreciate it. Seriously, hardcore, hardcore fan you are. And you'll always have a special place in my heart. And uh, Daniel as well, Milos from Poland as well, and a couple of others are like hardcore fans that keep joining my screen. And I'm really, really grateful that you're here. Um, this would be a fantastic point for me to pause on that happy note because it's far past midnight right now and I need to prepare for tomorrow. I've got to wake up early. So, but I'm gonna stream a tiny bit earlier tomorrow than today. So let's let's keep the awesomeness going. Let's keep the vibe going. Possibly spread the message. I'm really hoping to get uh, new subscribers tomorrow. I know that that doesn't completely depend on me or you, but I'm just hoping for the best, and I'm really happy that you're here. So allow me to uh, wish you the best of nights and uh, to talk to you tomorrow. For the meantime, keep it real. Thank you for being here. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Cheers, Sparkwise.